Hello guys, this is Street Service TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out to Palang Perso or channel na nagpunta rito at na-join sa devotional natin. Shout out and God bless to the Galgos vlog, Seisha Love, Rosel Badong, Nanay Amakolda, P. Hops, Well C. Joy Lacomba, SSC TV of Korea, Loves Coventer Channel, Des Biglia, Molly Salamara, Psyche Carion, Michael Aburita, For Men's Work, Yance TV, Connie Vlog, Loris Channel, Heart Ponsalan, Retro Blog, Honey, Love, Heart Villa, Talio Bacoteco, Bon Anthony Balmoria, New Zealand Coast Studio, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Sweetie Ding, Quadra, and even to those who did not train us during the premiere but still, napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all, guys. TV Guys, still, we are in a vacation. Lalo, lalo na yung mga isudyante. May we spend our time with our family, no? Sa mga college, parang umpisa na rin yung mga pasukan nila kasi some schools are adjusting to be back to the normal, no? Na yun June ang pasukan, then mag-end ng March. Kasi iba talaga pag summer natin dito yung iba particularly public school, may klase pa during uh, April and May, March, April, napaka-ano talaga, napaka-init, lalo-lalo na ngayon na uh, it was declared na may uh, drop, no? Haba-habang drop ang mangyayari as what I read from the news. Although, may ulan-ulan ngayon pero parang the last quarter of this year mag-uumpisa na ang drop. So, tag-init na naman dito sa atin. I guess it's not procedure devotional. Let's open our Bible to Genesis chapter 33 verse 1 to 11. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the word Jesus is so simplified na maintenant talaga natin. Okay, so this is about the story of Jacob met Esau. So, the word of the Lord in Genesis 33 verse 1 to 11 says, Jacob looked up and there was Esau coming with his four hundred men. So he divided the children among Leah, Rachel, and the two maidservants. He put the maidservant and their children in front, Leah and her children next, and Rachel and Joseph in the rear. He sent, he himself went on ahead and bowed down to the ground seven times as he approached his brother. But Esau ran to meet Jacob and embraced him. He threw his arms around his neck and kissed him, and they wept. Then Esau looked up and saw the women and children. Who are these with you? he asked. Jacob answered, They are the children God has graciously given your servant. Then the maidservant and their children approached and bowed down. Next, Leah and her children came and bowed down. Last of all came Joseph and Rachel, and they too bowed down. Esau asked, What do you mean by all these jobs I met? To find favor in your, your eyes, my lord, he said. But Esau said, I already have plenty. My brothers, keep what you have for yourself. No, please, say Jacob. If I have found favor in your eyes, accept this gift from me. For to see your face is like seeing the face of God. Now that you have received, receive me favorably. Amen and amen. Ang ganda ng verse, guys. Okay, guys, let's not pray. Father God, as we read the verse, parang the joy in me is there because we know that Jacob tricked Esau in order for your father to give Jacob the blessing. Lord, thank you na there is forgiveness released by Esau to his brother Jacob. 
Sana ganon din mangyayari sa amin, O God, na whomever we have wrong will forgive us. So, blessings will be upon us both also. Yung guilt mawala sa amin, O God. That's why Lord teaches us to forgive others, particularly those whom we have wrong. We commit all this to you, O God, and sir, pray. Amen and Amen. So, the focus verse we have for this evening, guys, is found in Genesis 23, verse 4. It says, Is a run to meet Jacob and embracing. Wow! Yung ano, yung panganay, no? It's so excited to see his uh, younger brother. Uh, siguro na-miss niya rin yung ano. Ako, guys, na-miss ko rin yung ano, yung mga kapatid ko, no? Kaya lang hindi lang ako express at gaya ng ginawa ni Isaw na he really embraced, no? So, yun. So, the title of the Bible for this evening, guys, is First Forgive. We call ourselves sisters in Christ, but my white friend and I had begun to act like enemies. Over a cafe breakfast, one morning, we argued unkindly over uh, our differing racial views. Then, we parted, with me vowing not to see her again. One year later, however, we were hired by the same ministry, working in the same department, and able not to reconnect. Awkwardly, at first, we talk over conflicts. Then over time, God helped us to apologize to each other and to heal and to give the ministry our best. God also healed the bitter division between Esau and his twin brother. Ah, twin pala sila, no? Jacob, and blessed both their lives. A one-time schemer Jacob had robbed Esau of the father's blessing, but 20 years later God called Jacob to return to their homeland. So Jacob sent ahead bountiful gift to appease Esau, but Esau ran to meet Jacob and embraced him. He threw his arms around his neck and kissed him, and they wept. In Genesis 33, or, <laughs> parang emotional ako guys no? the reunion stands as a classic example of God's urging to settle anger with a, broke, with a brother or sister before offering our gifts talents or treasure to him in Matthew 5 23 to 24 instead first go and be reconciled to them then come and offer your gift Jacob obeyed God by reconciling with Esau and later setting up an altar to the Lord in Genesis 33.20. What a beautiful order. First try for forgiveness and reconciliation. Then at his altar, he receives us. Amen and amen. Ang ganda guys, ang ganda. Kasi alam ko yung story ni Jacob at ni Esau. Nilin lang kasi ni Esau ang ano. Uh, father nila no? kaya yun si Isa uh, si Jacob parang may guilt siya no? na nakuha niya yung blessing na hindi naman sana na sa kanya kasi ang alam ko guys si Isa is uh, the older brother no? so yun uh, natanggap talaga ni Jacob yung ano yung blessing from the father kaya siguro siyempre may galit siya no? si Isa kaya nagalit siya kay Jacob because hindi sa kanya na ano nabigay na ang blessing ng pare. Importante talaga guys ang blessing ng uh, parents. Sa akin binigay ng father ko yung blessing sa akin so with my mother na sa akin kasi ako yung panganay na. So it's so nice to be blessed by your parents. Kaya yun yung kinagalit ni Isa kasi hindi sa kanya napunta yung blessing sa napunta kay Jacob. But still God bless Isa. So, you know, we are giving offering sa mga ano natin pero hindi para na-reconcile yung, ano, yung relationship. So, yung ginawa ni Isa at ni Jacob, may uh, reconciliation muna sa sarili nila. Forgiveness is there. Imagine yung kapatid talaga, yung panganay si Isa. So, excited to go to his younger brother and really embrace, wow, napakaganda example. And then the offering later was, uh, the binigay was really accepted. Okay guys, parang emotional ako na nagbabasa sa ano. Ang ganda kasi ng story, if you know the story about Esau and Jacob.
I guess it's not proceed to the question. Against whom do you hold a grudge or grievance? Meron, pero ha, pinipray ko na lang yan. No? Uh, hindi naman ako may kasalanan sila, pero pinipray ko yan para mapats up yung relationship namin. Mabalik yung unity, yung joy, na when we see its other outside, no? uh, andun yung peace of mind. Second question, what step can you take to reconcile? I really wanted to uh, initiate the reconciliation, although hindi ako yung nagkasala. Pero mahirap kasi magkatagpo kasi busy yung tao. Every time I go to the office, wala siya, ganun. So, uh, pinipray ko na lang sila. So, that's how I uh, make reconciliation, praying for them also. I guess it's not pray. Dear God, when we hold unto her, to hard feelings against another believer, is pray us at the way to your altar to first forgive. This is the forgive of God. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, napakasarap sa feeling kung wala tayong heaviness in heart because of unforgiveness. Kaya, let's make a step to reconcile a broken relationship. As a brother, na alam natin kung ano yung mali, let's initiate the reconciliation. God bless us all, guys, because I know it's surely bless us 10 times better. This is again, it's Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo mo at tangan sa muli. Paalam!